What's up, do boy? And today we are going to do a FL Studio 12 tutorial on how to remix. This will be part three of the How to Remix series, and we're going to use an acapella this time to show you how to move it around and um, change the BPM, the speed of it. Um, so let's go ahead and get right in. I'm just going to use a random channel and insert my friend Edison. Load sample. I've already got it right here in recent. This is the clean acapella for Maroon 5 feature and future cold. And it is at 100 BPM. When you get your acapellas, just find out what the BPM of them is so you can work from there. And it's just going to save you a lot of time. Okay. So here we have our acapella. Use this right here as I've shown you in the other tutorials send it to the playlist okay let's zoom in on the beginning right here first off I'm gonna mute this and show you all what this beat instrumental that I'm working on sound like sounds like Alright, so it's nothing too fancy, um, pretty basic beat, uh, now let me show you how to line this up, okay, so we want the words, we can see where it comes in at, obviously it's really low right here, and boom, you get a spike, so that's going to be your down beat, alright, so I'm going to line my down beat up right here. And be careful because there's a difference between the downbeat and where his voice comes in. Right here I can see this is the kick. And then you can see where he comes in a little early. And then the kick hits. So let's listen to it. Oh, again, it was at 100 BPM. So let's go ahead and change our BPM to 100. And that's going to move the whole audio clip move it right back to where we had it okay so let's listen in and see what it sounds like cold enough to chill my bones it feels like I don't know you anymore so that sounds cool you can see I'm on I'm on B. It comes in right here. Again, hits the beat right here. Really, you just want to be close. Sometimes you'll get acapellas that are really weird and the beat doesn't really match exactly. So just overlook that. All right. Now, here's the complicated part. This is changing the BPM. And that's what I get asked most about. So, oops, accidentally deleted it. Edit, undo, pulls it back in. Okay. So, how I'm going to do this is the quick way that I like. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my slicer. Make sure my snap to grid is online. Snap it right there. And then, uh-oh, I'm going to erase it. Okay, so you know your instrumental, or you know your acapella needs to end right here on this bar. On um, bar number six, it needs to end. So watch, when I change the BPM, it's going to throw that acapella all around and it's not going to line up. So let's just bump it up to 110. Or one, sure, 115. I don't know. Obviously, it 
It's not where it's supposed to be. Up here, make sure you have focus audio clips clicked. Right underneath it has zero cross and stretch. Make sure you have stretch clicked. So that circle should be highlighted. And then I'm just going to stretch it back. Oh, it doesn't line up. That's okay. Snap to grid, none. And that's where we'll line it up at. And we're going to make sure it's right there on the line. That looks great. Now, unclick stretch. And then you can fill back in the song. Click play. To my bones, feels like I don't know you anymore. I don't understand why you. All right. Now, as you can tell, the pitch went way up from where we were. So let's fix that. How you're gonna do that? Double click your acapella and mode. You're going to change that to auto, and now it's going to take a few seconds once I click this to stretch it and analyze it, so you'll see it loading. Right there. Okay, so now it's changed. Now it'll sound more like his voice. To my bones, it feels like I don't know you anymore. I don't understand why you're so cold to me with every breath. You breathe, I see there's something going on. I don't understand why you're so So, there it is. That's how you bring an acapella in, change it around. Um, I hope I was really clear. And explaining how to do that, you pull your acapella in, make sure you click on stretch, cut it to somewhere easy that you know you can bring it back to really quick, um, make sure it's on stretch, change your BPM, stretch it back to where it's supposed to be, and you should be good. Um, anyway, I guess that's it. So now you know. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That was a shorter video than I normally do, but that's the information you need. Um, I really appreciate the support, everyone. You all are giving me a lot of views. I'm getting new subscribers every day. I really do appreciate it. So thank you all. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit me up. What do you want to see next? What kind of tutorial? Um, I'm dropping music videos. Uh, be sure to check out my mixtape. Like and share that. I really appreciate that. Hashtag Dewboy Gang. If you're following the movement, you know, we're a big family and we support each other. Don't let anybody come on these comments and talk bad because we're doing us and we're not bothering anybody. So. Once again, I appreciate everybody that's been listening. Let's go ahead and run the track. Um, just kind of show you what it sounds like one more time. Cold enough to chill my bones. It feels like I don't know you anymore. I don't understand why you're so cold to me with every breath. Cold. Are we taking time or time out? I can't take the in between. Asking me for space here in my house. You know how to.